and welcome back to another exciting edition of Darklands with me, Polar Dash. Uh, last time on Darklands, we uh, we continued to head further south, uh, traveling away from Goslar, um, and uh, more towards this uh, witch cult meeting we're supposed to be at. Um, and so that I am, uh, you know, I have a higher chance of making it in time, I even uh, bypassed a few cities that I could have made pit stops at, uh, because whenever I stop into cities, I go window shopping, and that <laughs> is surely a huge waste of time. Um, the, uh, the devil did do his part in throwing some obstacles our way. Um, he didn't like me uh, bypassing cities. Uh, that was all on his plan, by the way. He's like, well, Polo Dash, he does all that window shopping stuff. I'm sure he won't be able to make it and uh, make it to that Strasbourg place in time. And then he looked through his uh, magical devil television and was like, whoa, whoa, why is he not stopping off at these cities? I gotta do something. <laughs> anyway, um, what he did was uh, he sent some of his goons to, uh, what do you call it, uh, set up an ambush against us. They were uh, disguised as a merchant caravan and... When uh, Toby approached to do some business, they attacked us, um, but our party was able to dispatch them uh, pretty effortlessly, I think. Uh, I don't think we took much damage. Um, but soon after defeating these guys, uh, were we attacked by a flight of gargoyles, um, maybe sent as observers by the devil to uh, report back on this ambush's success once it's been accomplished. Um, but the gargoyles, uh, seeing it fail, they uh, took it upon themselves to attack us instead of uh, going back to the devil to tell him about how his plot failed. Because <laughs> that would more likely end in the gargoyles' gruesome and painful death. You know, because the devil doesn't like hearing about failures, especially from his servants. Um. Uh, so, the devil noticing his gargoyles not return, um, as a, uh, last ditch effort before the end of the episode, um, uh, took control of a, uh, poor and innocent alchemist, uh, filling him with a bitter rage and this, and this uncontrollable desire to take our alchemical ingredients away from us. Um, so our guys uh, had to take this guy out. Uh, they were reluctant to do so because they knew by uh, looking through the man's eyes that it was he was attacking against his he was attacking against his will. Uh, but uh, I need to check something. I want to make sure that the potions we were hit with didn't affect our armor in any way. Toby is wearing 2427. Wait a minute. Beating ship. Who was hit? I think Axiana was hit the most. Toby was hit by a few too, but it didn't look like his armor was damaged. Yeah, her plate is still 30. Just do a round of equipment checks while we're here. I think Ping was already wearing crappy armor to begin with. He had 20 plate. Yeah, this is from a from a Robert Knight, I think. Yeah, refit at the Ping size. Yeah, and Inferno's wearing his 20 quality Robert Knight armor too. Okay, so I don't think he threw any Eater Water potions at us because those are the worst. It's one of the reasons why uh, you know sometimes. Avoiding rogue alchemists is a good idea. I mean, probably some Dark Lands players would jump at the opportunity to take one on because they drop uh, all sorts of expensive potions, but I don't know. I, I really don't like losing my 30 some quality armor <laughs> because a uh, couple loose potions decided to splash on our uh, good gear. That, that always sucks. You know, getting your armor reduced from 30 to like 7 because <laughs> it happens. Anyway, uh, we're here in Vorms. Uh, we've stopped in Vorms to drop off a thing or two of somebody. 
Uh, I need to figure out who this ancient crown that Axiana I think was holding. Yeah, she she's wearing it now. It needs to be given back to a merchant here in Vorms. My uh, or Toby's quest log doesn't specify which merchant I'm supposed to give this thing to. It just says merchant, so I guess we should just go to the central market and try them all. Says Toby. <laughs> That's the way he does things. Oh, we don't. We don't know. We'll just try all of them. So let's start from the bottom. Uh, is this your ancient crown? Asks Toby, pointing at Axie on his head. He's like, nope. Try next door. Uh, we'll go into the tents of the foreign traders here. Okay. Uh, is this your shiny crown? Asks Toby. I guess the guy says no. Or. He says, well, wait, 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 that's, that's not my crown, but maybe you can do something for me. I'm offering six florins. Toby's like, go. Oh, I guess I'll hear you out. Oh, okay. The foreign trader says, For generations, our family has treasured a special silver mace as an heirloom. It was carried by an ancestor when he fought beside Emperor Frederick Barbarossa. It was lost decades ago. Now a travel's tale makes me believe that it is at a lake. North east of Heidelberg. Oh, we hate that place. I fear lest it be stolen or moved again, he adds. It has a tendency to vanish suddenly. <laughs> yeah, like all these quest items. Uh, please make all haste. Or vanish suddenly and multiply. Okay, so we just stumbled into another quest. And it's not... Uh, it might be more of the devil's trickery. I'm trying to slow us down. Well, maybe it's along the way? We'll see. If it is, uh, we'll stop. If not, well, we can always go back after we uh, defeat the uh, cultists. Alright. Oh! I just noticed something. <laughs> All right. The good merchant stands there, you know, with his arms crossed, you know, his feet tapping on the ground. Or tapping his feet on the ground. Going, what the hell took you guys so long? Can't you read the sign? It says merchant in caps right there. Either way, words your exploits have obviously spread rapidly, and your forgetfulness. And we take the we purse of six florins. Toby adds it to his purse. Um, Lauren Spindler takes the ancient crown off Axiana's head. Goes, it's mine. It's beautiful. And we leave. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to think of something to say, but I'm out of ideas. I'm out of imagination today. Um, alright, so we did that. Cool. Now, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, it says merchants. I was thinking of, like, general store, you know? Like, pharmacist, foreign trader, general store, not, not merchant. I don't know, because they sell general crap. So you like, torches and candles and things. Flutes. 26 quality. Oh, Axiana has her face... On the display glass. Look at that flute. That'll go perfectly with my nose. So he's like, Axiana, you, you already have a flute, but it's all old and used. Okay, well, we'll buy her this 26 quality flute. There you go. And you can give the foreign trader your old flute. No, I want to keep the old flute, she says. So we'll let her keep it. It's only eight pennies. Okay. Um. Oh, you know, I wanted to sell stuff. <laughs> I was gonna... Alright, we'll go into the foreign traders then. I was going into the merchant, I don't know, to say my point about how I thought it was a general store, and then I was gonna sell all the loot while I was at it, but then I forgot because accident just distracted me with the flute. Oh, there's a sworn statement in the middle of my loot. That's no good. Oops. I, my brain is all bumblefucks. <laughs> it's not keeping up with my mouth. I was talking about Axiana, so I like, click on Axiana. Just, what am I doing? Alright. You know what? Give this one statement to. Hang. And. Okay. Then sell the rest of the stuff. Alright. Alright. We're up. 38 florins. Not too bad. Okay, so how much time did that cost me? I don't even know. I forgot to check what time it was when we started, but it's 11 a.m. Um, I guess this will probably be the last pit stop we'll make before reaching, uh, 
practice a witch cult meeting, and I'm I was just thinking. Uh, Toby is still in chain. Everybody else has some kind of plate armor. I was thinking maybe I should give some plate to Toby too, because what we're about to take on is no joke. Is no picnic. So um, I'm not sure if chain will cut it. Let's go to the uh, armors here to see if they have any plate for Toby. We do have uh, 38 florins. It's plenty to buy some plate armor, so maybe we can outfit Toby here with something new. Okay, we walk into the armor's way. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, they got they got plate armor for limbs, but not for vital areas. So Toby will be looking like an Axiana. I guess that's better than. Yeah, it's 30 or it's 26 quality. It's a good bargain, I suppose. Yeah, considering I don't really have much choice, I, I guess I'll buy it. Alright. Says Toby. And. He makes a purchase. Alright, and I think now I can give the. Yeah, the 27 quality chain. Oh crap. That puts him barely at normal load. One more and he's in heavy, and, and being in heavy load really sucks in this game. It, it slows down your your attack speed, it slows down your walking speed, it also reduces your dodge ability and things, and also you, you get hit by arrows more often and crap like that. But uh, uh, We're okay for now. <laughs> if, uh, if it comes down to it, Toby can fight without a shield. Alright, so we'll give this to Ping. Did I? Oh. And, um. I know the armor healer. He, uh, re he, re that he reworks the chain to fit Ping for free, considering the uh, large purchase we just made. Buying his uh, plate armor. Do this. Okay. Good. And my leg is numb. Ugh. And this 20 quality chain, I suppose we can hold on to it as a backup. Yeah. Okay. And that's. That. Oh, you know, Inferno doesn't have a medium shield. Maybe I'll buy it here while I'm... Or maybe I'll give the medium shield... Maybe I'll give Toby's medium shield to him. Nah, you know what, whatever. I'll just give Inferno a medium shield. You can't... You can't borrow shields from other people in medieval times. You got their, like, uh, you know, symbol and stuff on it. Just be weird. Okay, medium shield. And you can paint the Canadian flag on there later. Maybe while we're making camp or something. Uh, here. Okay. Go. Oh, that kind of puts them at close to heavy load, too. But he's not fully healed, so. Okay. And Toby isn't either. That's reducing their encumbrance. Or increasing their encumbrance. Reducing their carry capacity. Okay. Now he spent 15 minutes here. Damn. So let's just leave. And make more progress. Instead of doing the opposite. Um. Alright. Oh god! Suddenly a group of very dirty bandit soldiers leave from ambush yelling, Drop your weapons! Or die! Our master demands it. Um. Alright, come on, Toby. Work, work your megaphone magic. Boom! Ah! The bandit soldiers barely stop to hear your words. Uh, they search forward, crying, "For our master, for Lord Satan!" Ah! They're these guys. That's crappy. Check out a info here. 
All wielding medium shields and long swords. Package of pain. And missile avoidery. But we'll launch our missiles nonetheless. Because they're free damage. As long as they hit. Fire! Alright. One arrow lodges into the mercenary's chest, or whoever that guy is. Uh, a Satan worshipper. Alright. Party draws their weapons. Bringing them to bear against their foe. In front of them, charge! Alright. Axiana kicks the mercenary in the groin, because you know that's where that hurts. Um, Peng, why are you always going to be the guy that's going against the mercenary captain? Now, why don't you uh, watch our backs here, Peng? Go. Oh, Axiana's flanked. Alright. Peng gets a good stab in. Uh, Toby takes out his foe. Turns his mace on to the mercenary captain. Bam! Smack him across the head for 10, 6 damage. Two hit combo. But then Toby is uh, thrust in the gut by a sword hilt, uh, causing him to stumble. What's this going on here? Just making sure that no one is flanked yet. Yeah, Alright, good. Oh, Axian is still taking hits here. We just took 6. Toby. Crap. Toby, you need to parry. Going into defensive posture. All right. Actually, save Toby. Axiana can hold her on against two two dudes. Uh, Inferno is already engaged with this guy. He's not letting Inferno turn. So there we go. Inferno making quick work of the guy to save Toby. Do it. There he goes. Inferno splits his phone too. Alright, Pain coming in to aid Toby along with Inferno. Nice. That was Axiana breaking the captain's skull open with her halberd. Excellent. Uh, no coral to retrieve. Arrow. Jab one. And awesome loot. That's it? Ah, uh, they were probably stacked. Because they were all wearing the same thing. Victory! Alright, this band of mercenaries turned Satan worshippers. We'll travel Germany no more. And we resume our journey. Okay. We douse holy water on their foreheads that was branded with the Satan's mark. Not like a pentagram. Uh, Richie Caparis and Knight with a call for entourage probably rides towards our party. Um, yeah, you're going to some kind of tournament so we'll just let you pass. I don't have time. I, I want to play with the Knight but no time. Knight's party passes like the train of the Emperor. Doesn't even glance in your direction. Well, screw you. Let's keep going. Now what? Ahead on the road, you see a party of pilgrims. Their leader, a frail old friar, greets you. Where are you going? We ask. We seek the shrine of Saint Mary on the outskirts of Spare. Okay, um, oh, two florins. Oh, maybe this will give me some virtue. Well, take these two florins. But I'm in love with thanks. The fire is very grateful. That will give my lords. Here's some virtue, yes. And I think we got some, uh, divine favor, too. Good. Alright. I believe that is fair. Stop in a check. Yeah, before you lies the Walt City Spare, an independent bishopric on the middle of Rhine. We're respected here, but we're going to travel elsewhere because, again, we don't have a whole lot of time left. Oh, we have to. Oh, yeah, we have to cross this bridge here. Uh, 
because there is no crossing the Rhine from Strasbourg. I made that mistake before. I'm not going to make it again. <laughs> so let's go. Okay. And we're going to avoid the swamp. Stay on the road. Alright. And what is this? This is... Oh, Hadelberg, The largest city in the Rhine Palatinate. Famous for all the douchebags that hate us. Alright. So we're going to skip this place too. And I think the Quetzal North... Oh, it's right here, I think. I think this is a lake-ish thing. But that's gonna cost us half a day to walk through that far, so we'll come back to it. Alright. As I think that's a, that's a location. I'm not sure. And I don't really feel like spending time to check. Okay, so... Um, we're gonna take this road as further, further south as we can. And then we're eventually gonna have to cut west. Southwest. I think it's interesting to note that um, this witch cult meeting is taking place in the center of the Black Forest. I think that's an appropriate location for our uh, final showdown with some big bad witch cult leader. Maybe even take on the greater demon he's going to summon. Be pretty epic. Alright, what's this? Oh, hells, I go through the air. Wolves! Sounds like they're on our trail. Let's urge our horses onward, trying to outrun the wolf pack, because lighting a fire might alert the cultists. Alright. But we can't outrun them. Nor do we get any riding. <laughs> Which was the real reason why I wanted to do it. And wolves. They really don't hurt that much now that we're decked out in uh, metal armor. are things. Alright, Axiana, don't play. Remember, they're possessed. They're, they're devil familiars. Ah, okay. One pounces on Toby while he's reloading his crossbow. Toby's gonna go into to assist. And Inferno's gonna draw his longsword, too. Axiana's gonna chase that one further down. She goes walking the line. Oh, yeah! Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Uh, arrow. Jump on. Okay. Victory. And the demon wolves evaporate into dust. I'll just keep going. All right. We see the outline of the black forest ahead. I think I can take this natural path around maybe skirt around the black forest Just wandering around the forest aimlessly is a huge waste of time and there's even mountains and things over there and uh, heavy woods take even longer to traverse navigate through All right, watch that swamp but uh, uh, there we go hopefully I didn't trap myself here Stop, 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 Oh, there it is. What day is it? March 16th. Alright, I think we can make it in time, guys. <laughs> and, um... Uh, above the tree line, the party spots smoke rising from the center of the forest. And more wolves! Leaping out of the trees. No, from the base of the trees, not from above the trees, because that'd be weird. <laughs> uh, I don't think wolves can climb trees. So we'll do the same thing. And we're forced to dismount. And we don't gain riding. I, I don't remember, did. The wolf encounters? Was that the one that gave you riding, or was it the boars? I, I don't remember. Anyway, where, where are they? Okay, looking looking for the wolves. We we spot abandoned houses behind us. They're uh, filled with a mountain of mountain mountain. Wow, of corpses. All of them have their hearts and eyes removed. 
more than likely used for this demonic ritual that they're preparing for. It's a switch cult meeting. Fire! Okay. I'll just go. Alright. Charge the demon wolves. Oh. The demonic dire wolves. Keeping up with our party's attacks, avoiding each blow. Unfortunately, they don't wear armor. That'd be something. You know, if this game... this game was moddable, that'd be an interesting enemy. Armored bulls, considering how easy they are now. But yeah, it's one of the... Uh, downsides. One thing that every... I think every Dark Plains fan... wishes for. Is like this game's source code, so they can mod it. Alright. Let's see. I think we're just gonna step into the trees here so that we're not out in the open. Alright. Find a secluded spot away and hidden from the meeting site and pitch camp. Just gonna check what day it is. It's the, yeah, it's the 17th. So we can camp for a day or two, recover our endurance. And then uh, go into this thing fresh. So well, first thing we'll do is have Inferno pr no, pray. Top off his divine favor because we'll need it. And we'll have Axiana guard the camp. Um, and then we'll let Toby and Ping recover. All right. All right. See now he's seventy three, seventy five. That's more like it. Okay. Next we'll let uh, Inferno take a nap. Just make sure. Alright, 18th. And we'll have Toby keep guard and spend a day. Okay. Um. And I think I'll end it here. <laughs> it is around the 30 minute mark. Um. So next time, uh, we finally face Destiny. We've uh, reached this witch cult meeting in time, and uh, now we get to find out what it's like. Finally. Um, I've been looking forward to this. I hope you have too. Um, and we'll do this thing together. And we'll come out on top. Maybe. Uh, this will be the biggest challenge we've faced so far. Um, and, um, yeah. I'll see you next time. We'll do it together. All right.